Welcome back to Zach's Muscle Motors, everyone. My name is Zach, and today we're going to discuss lapping in the valves in your cylinder heads. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so, please like the video and also click subscribe. That helps me out an awful lot, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you all for tuning in today. So let's get over here and we'll get started in lapping these valves in. All right, what I want to do is give you a quick visual representation of what's going on inside the runner and inside the chamber that you can't really see while doing this process, but this way you can kind of understand what's happening. This is where the valve stem comes down into the runner, and this is where the seat face matches up to the valve seat. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to grind off just a little bit of material here to freshen up the edge where the seat face and the valve seat meet. Um, I'll kind of show you right here. This is an intake valve. Let me zoom in a little bit to kind of show you. You see this one here has a nice gray kind of hazy edge. This one has been resurfaced. This one comes out looking really good. It's got a good even seal all the way around. This one here has not been done. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean this edge up. On the intake valves, they're usually pretty decent. It doesn't take a whole lot. The exhaust valves, however, are a little bit worse. Um, you see where it's a little bit pitted here. You have to do just a little more uh, to get these cleaned up. This side has not been touched. This side has. You can see it's a. it looks a little bit better. Still got some slight pitting there, but not much. You can just barely run this edge over it and not fill it. So it'll take just a little bit more uh, to get this side looking like this side and to get this one cleaned up just a little bit more. But you don't want to go a whole lot because they can start messing with your uh, installed height and all that stuff. And we're not going to get into that just yet, but you just want to be careful not to take off too much material. I'll show you real quick uh, if I can get here. This is a, um, the cylinder where the ones that haven't been done has come out. You can see this edge has not been touched. Likewise, this doesn't look too bad, but it can still be freshened up. And then moving down here is the one that has been cleaned up. You can see how much better. It's got a nice wide uh, surface here on the valve seat for the seat face to match up to likewise with this one here so our goal now is to get the other valves and the other chambers looking just like this and i'm going to show you how to do it real quick all right so now we're going to get down to business i'm going to show you two different ways to do this one is a traditional route you're going to use a uh, valve lapping tool it's got a suction cup on each end two different sizes for different size valves uh, you're also going to use this valve grinding compound uh, to actually grind down the surface of the, uh, the valve and the valve seat. Um, now, this is good if you have a valve that's flat, but if you look at this one, see how this valve is pitted? It's got a little bit of pit to it. It's not exactly smooth and flat. You're gonna have an extremely difficult time with the uh, the suction cup wanting to stick to that. So, try to keep this from bouncing around a whole lot. These have already got some oil on them. I'm gonna add a little bit more. You wanna make sure you keep everything well lubricated during this process. So I just put some engine oil on there. Let it move around a little bit. Now, make sure the guy's got plenty in there. That's what you really wanna worry about. Now, I'm gonna try to do this where you can see it. Take this little bit of this valve grinding compound you put it just along the, the seat face here. It doesn't take a whole lot. I'm trying to make sure I can show you guys what I'm doing, plus do it. It's a little difficult. So for the ones in my previous videos that was asking me to uh, do a better job, I'm trying. I'm a one-man show. I do this recording and the stuff myself, so sometimes it gets a little difficult. So if you'd like to volunteer your time to uh, come be my cameraman, uh, instead of complaining, you're more than welcome to do it, but I'm doing the best I can. So the next thing to do is take your valve lapping tool and you'll suction cup this on there. Now, like I said, with this valve, it's going to be difficult because it doesn't have the best suction with it being pitted. And that's where the second process comes in, but it's a little controversial. So what you're going to do is put some pressure and see like this and I want to twist. Put pressure, pushing down and twist the valve inside the seat. Lift up, see this is just spinning. These aren't all that great. But you're gonna do this right here. Once you kind of hear it, get a little quieter, pick it up, rotate it around, keep it moving, 
keep it twisting. And, you know, it just depends. Sometimes you can do this and get by with it. This does take a while. Your hands can get tired. A lot of times this won't start popping off, especially if you get any compound or oil on it. So you have that as an option. It's just time consuming. Now I'm gonna switch over, I'm gonna show you the second way. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the, uh, the extremely controversial way of how to do this. And I wanna emphasize that this is something that you can do at home. Um, you wanna be extremely careful when you do this uh, because you can uh, mess this up from the gate and uh, you can do damage that is gonna cost you a lot more money in the long run, having to replace uh, valve guides and all kinds of stuff. Um, so if you're gonna do this method, it does work, um, but be very careful. And for all the internet keyboard machinists out there, um, yes, I realize that what I'm about to explain here uh, isn't exactly the most ideal way, but neither is just lapping a valve. You would take that to a machine shop. So if you've got the money to do that kind of stuff, then take it in. There wouldn't be a problem to begin with. Um, so don't complain about that. Just take the information and knowledge just for what it's worth. Um, so right now we're gonna use a drill and we're gonna put the chuck on the, uh, the valve stem right here very carefully. You do not wanna tighten this tight. Uh, that can cause damage to the, uh, the stem. You don't wanna do this. This is a very delicate process, so you need to be very careful. Don't use a lot of pressure. And I'm, I'm gonna get this spun around. There's no good way to do this. I'm gonna spin the head around and then I'll put the drill on it and then I'll show you kind of like on the face of the valve what it's doing here. And get where we can see it. Okay. And this is a uh, this is a really bad drill, so bear with me. I need to get a new one. So you're gonna get the valve seat in there pretty good, or the, excuse me, the valve stem in there a pretty good distance, enough where you can just move it back up and down. Um, you want to just get it to where it snags. Like I said, you don't want to uh, tighten it down real tight. You don't want to leave any marks. And also the other key here, I wanna make sure I got a good angle for you guys, is do not spin this fast. Go slow and very little pressure. Let the uh, the compound do its job. If you try to spin the shit out of this, you're gonna do damage. So just kind of follow my lead here. Keep the RPMs low. You'll hear it cut, keep it low. Reverse it, go back the opposite direction. Little pressure. Lift it up and just do this a few times. I'm not putting any pressure on this. I'm just letting the, uh, I'm letting kind of the compound just do its job. That's the best way I can describe it. You don't want to use a lot of RPM. And if I had a better drill, I could set a better example, but this one's got a uh, frayed cord on it. So it's kind of acting up a little bit. So you don't want to really get that high even. You want to keep it down low, minor adjustments. It don't take much. Now I'm going to take this off. So you can kind of see that compound there. Try to focus in on it. That compound's kind of milky and creamy looking. We'll clean it off. Here, see what it looked like before. It's a little better. So see, there's some, still some pits there. They could use a little bit of work, but it's not bad. If you take your time though and go slow and don't get stupid with the, uh, the throttle on it, you're gonna be okay. Um, let me try to, so I can wipe this valve seat down for you real quick and show you that. Just use a bit of brake clean here to get this stuff off. Uh, also, another thing I want to emphasize is you want to make sure you clean your heads thoroughly uh, after you do this. You don't want this getting down in your cylinders and all that jazz. So this is not a final clean, so don't roast me for that either. But maybe you can see, see that edge right there just a little bit better of how much nicer the uh the valve guide looks and as well as the the, uh, the seat face on the valve so 
that right there more or less is uh lapping in the valves and you're gonna do this to all of them and again when it's all said and done you want to clean it just take your time uh watch what you're doing don't get in a hurry and uh you'll be okay so that's that's two ways to do it quick simple easy cheap like i said the biggest expense you're going to have is this right here it's like seven or eight dollars for that tube um unless you really get in here and just dick something up you should be all right so uh until my next video guys thanks for stopping in take care i hope this was uh, informational for you